A successful price promotion will likely lead to increased demands for your product or your service. As the advertiser, it's your responsibility to do everything reasonable to avoid disappointing your customers. Saying subject to availability if you can't meet the increased demand isn't likely to be enough. The key takeaway from this video is that you need to make a reasonable estimate of what you think the take up of your promotion will be before you run it. It's a requirement of the advertising rules. And if someone was to submit a complaint about your promotion, you would be asked to provide proof of those calculations you made. One way you can make an estimate would be to look at the sales figures for a similar promotion you've run in the past. But you'll need to factor in anything that might make your new promotion more popular. Now these things can vary, but they might be things like the days of the week or the time of the year, uh, a promotion run on a weekend, say, could be more popular than one on a weekday. And the same thing goes for a bank holiday or a regular weekend. If you're basing your calculation on a similar product, but the product in your new promotion has greater appeal, factor that in too. Or finally, if you're advertising your promotion across different channels with greater reach uh, and more people are likely to see it, remember to factor that in for your calculation too. Promotions can and do go viral, so it's worth considering when you are planning your promotion. Anything that is within your control that you could have reasonably foreseen will need to be factored into your estimate. Based on that calculation, you'll then need to decide whether or not you can meet the demand. Running a promotion if you know you won't be able to meet the demand. If you know your promotion is likely to exceed demand, it's still possible to run it, but you must provide sufficient information to consumers in a clear and timely manner. It all goes back to that key point in the previous video. As the advertiser, it's up to you to provide the consumer with all the information they need to make an informed decision about whether or not they take advantage of your price promotion. Saying subject to availability or while stocks last probably won't be enough. You probably should include information on how much stock or how many units there are and the likely demand. Running a promotion if you plan to meet the demand. If you've done your estimate of your likely uptake of your promotion and decided that you can meet the demand, the ASA will expect you to take all reasonable steps to do so. However, sometimes there are circumstances that are out of your control that result in an unexpectedly high response. If you can't supply the demand for a price promotion for reasons that are genuinely out of your control and that you couldn't have anticipated, you have to let your customers know in a relevant and timely manner. Up next, we'll be talking about different types of charges and when you do and don't have to include them in the advertised price of your product or service. I'll see you in the next one.